In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to stop gallbladder pain fast. Hi, I'm Dr. Zorowski from NewVisionExcel.com. If you're new to the channel, it is such a pleasure to have you here. Be sure to subscribe and hit the little bell notification if you wanna excel your health and your life and you're gonna be well on your way. In this video, we're talking about how to stop gallbladder pain. You know, some people have some very minor gallbladder symptoms and some people have more of an intense pain. You know, I know as my sister went through gallbladder issues, the pain was intense. When she was pregnant with the gallbladder issues, they were absolutely debilitating. So some of the same remedies that I used with her during this time and that she found relief with, I'm about to share with you. Now, here's the thing is um, gallbladder attacks are very painful. So anything that we can do naturally is always a huge huge benefit. And so let's go ahead and start with the hot pack. First, the hot pack, what it's going to do is it's going to expand the bile duct and relieve pressure. Now, the other thing it's going to do is reduce spasms on the biliary ducts. And if you have a small stone lodged in the bile duct, it, what it can do there is help relieve that blockage. So the hot pack is very beneficial. How you'll use it is you'll take a warm, moist cloth, put it on your upper quadrant right here and put a hot pack over top of it. You'll lay down with that on and you'll put it on for about 15 15 minutes, get up, walk around, put it on for 15 minutes, get up, walk around, and you'll just repeat that as many times as necessary until you get relief. Now, the other thing you can do is use a castor oil pack. Now, the castor oil pack is much more beneficial. You just use it a little bit more differently. First, you're going to take that castor oil pack, whether you make one at home or you buy one, you're going to put it on the upper quadrant and you're just going to leave it there for about 30 minutes and then take it off. And then you can do 30 minutes again and then take it off for a while. And once again, repeat that a couple times a day if necessary. The castor oil is very relieving to the gallbladder and offers some healing benefit. So if I had to pick between the two, I'd stick with the castor oil pack as just a um, side note, the castor oil does have a strong smell and it does stain sheets and clothing, so be careful with that. The next big one is apple cider vinegar, and this is going to be warm apple cider vinegar. So what you'll do is you'll take two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar and put it in warm water, in a cup of warm water. And then you'll sip on that while you're having gallbladder pain or a gallbladder attack. It's going to help not only dissolve the uh, gallstones, but it's also going to help reduce nausea, and it's going to offer definitely some relief from the gallbladder pain and attack. It's peppermint tea with lemon. So you take that warm peppermint tea, take a half a lemon, squeeze it into it, and it's going to offer a soothing effect on the gallbladder and help reduce some of those spasms. And then last if not least, what you'll do with magnesium powder um, is take that and take a half a teaspoon of magnesium powder and put it in warm water. Now magnesium is very calming to the entire body, but specifically in this case, it's very calming to the gallbladder. So once again, half of teaspoon into a warm cup of water, stir it up, and then go ahead and sip on that. And you can do that every four hours in order to give you some relief from gallbladder pain. Now, if you haven't seen my video on symptoms of gallbladder problems, be sure to check that out because you know you may not be someone who's suffering from some intense gallbladder pain, but you may be having some different symptoms. And in fact, it could be your gallbladder that's causing them. And this information can really benefit you. Now, here's the thing. Be sure to implement this into your lifestyle and then also make sure that you're eating a high quality diet that's free of sugar, free of grains, and that's going to really benefit you as well. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description below of the uh, diet that I recommend. So be sure to implement this in. It's going to offer you a lot of relief. I've seen it offer many people who are going through gallbladder attacks or having gallbladder pain get relief with it. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, just go ahead and post them in the comments section below. We will definitely respond to them. Other than that, check out my other videos on not only gallbladder health, but also ways to increase your health. And I'll see you in the next video.